And uh, with that, I'm now going to invite uh, Sri Asim Tripathi, the DG at IIPA, Government of India, to say a few words. Let's all welcome him, everybody. Respected Honorable Minister on the dais, my colleagues on the dais, and dear friends, I came to listen, and that was nothing artificial about it, it was real interest, but I was persuaded to speak, and something on artificial intelligence. I have very little science, I am in political science, so talking about artificial intelligence, I would be certainly crossing my limits, which is permissible under the rules. But fact remains, I am one of those who believe that I am very much happy with the rise of artificial intelligence, but I am literally unhappy with the decline of real intelligence. Ultimately, the real intelligence will rule, because ultimately, algorithm will be written by a real, um, real intelligent people, and AI machine tool and NLPs and other things will only convert them into usable products. But one thing is good, one we should appreciate that AI is going to change everything. If data is new oil, oil needed refinery to refine it, oil needed transportation to transport it from one end to another end, but this data does not require any of this. In fact, today you can handle structured and unstructured data through a machine without anybody touching it. And all the machines funded by Mr. Patak and co. and developed by Patnis and co. I mean, they are all going to do it bidding on your at, at, at 24 by 7. When everything is artificial and everything artificial intelligence is going to control it, life is going to be a challenge. And that challenge, the government through public policy, through regulation, through setting the rules of the game, we have to manage before the things go out of control. I am one of those who believe that AI is nothing but another nuclear bomb in the making. It can destroy savings, it can destroy health, it can destroy crops, it can destroy, it will create wars and war-like situation without anyone even knowing it. That is the dark side of this technology. But the positive side is that with last 2000 years of our existence, we have added 30 years of our life. Longevity is now 30 years plus. When we became independent, sir, the life expectancy was below 50. Today, average is now Corona has improved the average, but things remain that life expectancy has improved. And if 80% credit goes to the medicine, remaining 20% goes to the technology also. If we could vaccinate two and a half crore people on a day, which is the total population of many countries, this was possible because of technology and the endeavor of our people. We have huge potential, point is how we can harness it. and sir, in IIPA, we handle the training capacity building of our own people who were trained earlier to come with colonial mindset. Now we are converting them from colonial to developmental mindset. And now our new mandate is converted to digital mindset. Because current mindset is, is a combination of culture, ethics and technology. Anyone missing, you can't handle governance and public policy. We are doing it diligently, sir. And we don't have anything to give you even after Pitrapaksh also. <laughs> but fact remains that today, sir, technology can deliver what was earlier a challenge. I am reminded of a Urdu couplet. If you have permission, sir, I would like to recite. A musabbir meri tasbir to khinch. Musabbir means photographer. A musabbir meri tasbir to khinch. Sart hai dard ki vi tasbir hai. And today, with AI, we can capture even that dard and misery also. I am told one company which is taking attendance through biometric, in fact, through facial recognition, and analyzing it, whether employees, when they entered in office, they were happy, and when they left, are they little unhappy. So that is the level of technology can go. But technology has left us other problems. Today, life is unsettled. People are not marrying till age of 50, and after 50, there is no need to marry also. <laughs> Technology has given us tension which were non-existent. In fact, the one Nobel laureate has said that we have tested all our health equipments and everything. Very few healthy people are left now. 
and AI and machine learning, NLP, robotics and all those things are going to be the new challenge for each one of us. We teach in management, sir, that now it is not, we don't te teach you how to handle your peon, chokra, chokidar, chaprasi, how to behave with the minister and how to have the social etiquette. Now we will start teaching how to handle your computer, how to handle your robotic friends. Because human and machine, it is no longer like gender justice, sir. It used to be gender and justice, either in favor of gender or in favor of justice. So gender justice was not understood properly. Today the same thing has come for human and machine. Human has to learn to work with machine. Otherwise machine will work and human will be doing something different. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Humans will always be human. We will find out some more means so that AI becomes VR, VR becomes VM and VM becomes something else. After all, fertile mind sitting in front of me, they will not sit idle. Even if AI achieves, it's all objective. Something else will come. AI plus will come. A triple I will come. The way IITs become triple IIT, sir. AI will also become something more. Either double A or triple A or triple D, triple I. But I do believe that real intelligence should not be lost sight of. Citizen centricity should not be lost sight of. If the cost of doing is more than the total benefit going to the society is more, then any technology is going to be useless, even if it is AI supported. So those who are in this trade, in this business are trying to superimpose AI and everything. They must learn that empathy and sympathy are not going to be going outside the market. And leaders will send the vision. AI will never send the vision of any country, society or an organization. I am happy, sir, I was called to listen to you, but, but given a chance, I thought I would share my idea. Thank you very much.